Dr. Dave Gatros. Uh, this is a video I'm making for my Unix class at uh, Florida State University. And uh, just a very simple explanation of some of the file management commands that are used in Unix. And we're going to start off with the simplest one here. And uh, not the simplest one, clear the screen. So I'm going to do an LS, which stands for actually list structure, I believe, or um, uh, a directory. And the simplest one is LS and you just put ls and it tells you the files there. Now it omits hidden files and uh, uh, doesn't really give you much information about it but um, uh, ls is the simplest you can do. Now if you want more information then what you do is you can say ls uh, dash l. Okay now let me widen this up a little bit and do it again. Okay clear dash l and then you uh, see the uh, 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 details about the files that are in that particular directory. To define what these mean is the first uh, group of characters right here is the uh, permissions. The uh, first one, if turned on, will be a directory. It'll be a D. And then there's uh, three groupings of three. In the first uh, three groupings, the RWX up here is for the uh, owner. The next is for the group and then the world. And that's read, write, and execute. As you can see, compile.sh has read, write, and execute for the um, owner, but not for the world. If I want to change that, it's a cmod command. We'll explain later in another video. I'll say 777, which turns all compile.sh. And now I do an ls-l. Dash, uh, dash okay, and it shows me now I've turned on all the uh, permissions for the, uh, the uh, world, the group, and the owner, too, to do everything. Now let me make a, uh, a temporary directory, okay, temp directory, and uh, let's do ls on it, and you'll see it shows up right here, and you'll see the d on it indicates that it is a, a directory. That's how you can tell a directory. Now if you want to see hidden files, then you add the a to the uh, list, ash, dash al, and now it shows the hidden files. You'll see that two hidden files show up. The period right here, which I'll, I'll take the cursor up here and show you, this period is a specialized file which indicates the location of the current directory, the one that we're in right now. And the two dot file right here is the location of the parent directory, the one that points to this one. So if we want to go up a directory, then we say cd dad dad and say we want to go to that directory and boom, up we go. And there we are, we're in the directory up and I actually want to go to the simple class class directory. Okay. The uh, next command we want to do is a, is a copy. A very simple copy. Let's see what files we've got in here. Uh, move the cursor over here. We've got uh, compile.sh main main.cpp. I've used these in um, uh, a few examples in class. Well, let's say I want to make another version of compile.sh, which is a shell script. I say cp for copy, compile.sh, this is the uh, source, and then I want to send it to a target. Have to either give it a different name or a different location. Well, I'm gonna, I, I could give it a different name right here, but I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to send it up to the parent directory, and by doing that I go dot dot slash, that says go up to the previous directory, and put it there. And what that will do is it will copy it to the previous directory. How do we know that? Well, let's go up and take a look at that. Well, there it is. Okay. Let me get rid of it. To get rid of something, all you have to do is say rm compile.sh and it removes it. And it's gone. You, know, so you can't recover it. Okay. That's a simple explanation of uh, copy. And there's, uh, you can use all kinds of wildcards with it. Simple class. Okay. We'll go back into our little test directory right there. That's copy. Um, we did ls. I'm just looking for other uh, things here. Uh, man, oh yeah, oh, this is very good. Uh, let me clear this. Uh, you want to find information about a command. Let's say uh, we want to find out more about the, the list structure command. You say man space ls. Man stands for manual. Why well, doesn't say help? I don't know, but uh, you a man space ls and it provides you a 
uh, text version of the help. You can kind of scroll through it. I'm using the space bar here. Uh, you can go one at a time by hitting enter the key and anytime you want to quit you just hit the letter Q and boom you quit. Man copy okay. shows you all commands. I'm just kind of scratching the surface of the commands here. They're, they're, each one that I'm showing you is much much more complex than uh, the few examples that I've given you. There's lots of features to it. Now let's say that you want to look at a file. Okay, let's say that we want to look at uh, the make file. Okay, okay, I can do uh, one of two things. I can do cat, which actually just scrolls the whole file. Now, if it was the file was larger than what could appear on the screen, it wouldn't matter. It just scroll the whole thing uh, by me as fast as I can. Uh, if I want to see a page at a time, I use a feature called more. This is the one that's used uh, more often than not, is the more, not the cat command. The cat's kind of an old um, utility we used to use back in the day when we would copy files from one computer to another. We didn't have uh, file transfer capabilities. What we'd do is we'd scroll a file in front of us and we'd use our computer to capture the contents. All right, well, let's keep going here to um, the next example. I got more. Word count's kind of uh, interesting. Okay, we use word count more than you might think we do. Um, let's say that, uh, let me show you something right here. Uh, word count, uh, I can say word count and main. And what it does is it goes through and it counts the number of lines, the number of words, and the number of characters. And that's three columns that you see right there. If I just want to know the number of words, uh, I just do dash W. Oops, main. CPP. I uh, messed it up. Okay. Word count dash w main dot CPP. Okay, there's just the number of words. Okay. Okay. Now let's say that I want to incorporate that with let's say my uh, my other commands and I want to find out how many files there are and directories inside of my uh, current directory. Well, I can do an ls and I can count them, one, two, three, four, five. Or what I can do is I can say ls and I can give that information to the word count and say only count the number of words. And that vertical bar right there is the pipeline. It says take the output of ls and give it to word count. And it says there are seven. We can go up count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, there they are, all seven of them. So that's a pretty neat little feature right there. Okay. Uh, move command, uh, very much like uh, copy, except it doesn't make a duplicate of uh, anything. Move is like rename, and it actually it is used in, in two, uh, two functions we use. It is used to rename or to physically move one file to another. So let me do an ls. Let's say that I wanted to take my uh, time.h and move it to the previous directory. Okay, well I can say um, move time.h to slash and what it does and I go here well it's not there I go up to my previous directory and there it is well, let me move it back okay time h to type it in right simple class okay it's gone there let me go into simple class and there it is I can also use it to rename it right? for instance uh, I want to rename compile.sh to uh, compile simple.sh. I can say move compile.sh, that's the source, and then compile simple.sh. And now it has a new name. Okay. Lots of different options for all of these commands. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've got my temporary directory. You saw me make that. That was to make directory. Okay, and I can get rid of it. I can say remove um, temp directory. Yeah. Say cd temp remove temp directory. There we go. Oops. There we go. Got rid of it. Just typed it wrong. Uh, that's remove directory. Okay. 
Uh, diff. Okay, there's a good one. Okay, let me uh, clear. This is a good uh, example. Let me copy uh, main.cpp to main2.cpp. And let me go in and edit main2.cpp. And let me uh, add a comment. Okay, let me save it. Okay, clear. So I want to say diff main.cpp and main2.cpp. And what it does is it tells me, ah, I there's the uh, uh, line 4, column 4. This is the uh, difference right there. I saw this difference. Kind of a handy little thing to have, to tell you the truth. And there are several flags. Uh, you can do a dash A, which treats all files as text. You can do dash B, which ignores changes the amount of point spaces. And you can do a dash I, which ignores the case. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I mentioned about wildcards. Okay, several wildcards. Um, for instance, asterisk.cpp will tell me all the files that have end in .cpp. Uh, I can also do individual uh, characters themselves. For instance, I can do uh, ls asterisk.cpp, and then the um, um, the one that actually is the difference is the uh, question mark. Oops, let me put it over here so I can get it. My question mark is one character. It matches a single character. And again, it matches P in this one too, so it doesn't really matter. So the asterisk is a wild call that matches zero or more characters, and the um, question mark just matches a single character. And there are other things you can do with the sets too. Well, this is a, a, a get you a start of using file manipulation. Hope this helps. And um, we'll get in more in-depth detail on individual commands later on in the uh, course and in other videos. Have a good day.